What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're at the Coley Motorplex, as you can see behind me, uh, where a mate of mine has kindly offered me to take a drive of his supercharged FG GT. Uh, makes about 650 rear wheel horsepower at the moment on 98. So yeah, really keen to see what that's like and really thrown into the deep end under a track I don't know. So uh, yeah, let's see how we go with this one. Just did the driver briefing and uh, going through scrutineering at the moment. So let's get into it and fingers crossed it goes well. So really keen to see how that goes and see what this V8 life's about because I haven't actually ever driven a V8 Falcon. So this be a really cool experience. It'll be uh, really cool to see what the uh, supercharged V8 is all about and hear it at full noise belting around this track in a second. So I'll show you guys around and let's get into it. Now for today, there are actually two categories. We've got this guy over here who's hand built his car. We've got a supercharged 3.8 litre in it. Uh, yeah, this guy's hand built his car. It's got a 3.8 supercharged in it. Making about 260 horsepower, weighs about 700 kilos, so should be pretty quick. Uh, but yeah, as I said, there's going to be two categories today a street and a race category. So yeah, let's see what it's about. I reckon. It's currently making about 410 kilowatts at the wheels. <laughs> Subcharged GT of Carl's, allegedly making around 700 horsepower. How much power does your car make? Me? Yes, you. 680. 680. Ah, oh, that's way less than I thought. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Got a slug life. Race wheels on the front. I'm putting them all Odd around. choice. Oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. I was gonna say. Got the fruit salad look. No, yeah, I'm going all around. Cool. So as I said before, we are at the Collie Motorplex. Got the burnout pad here. This is actually really cool. So the track goes, starts over there. You got the sharp hairpin, comes all through here, S-bend all down there. It actually, we're doing a long track today. So we actually head down through the bushes over there. And then I'll show you at the top, you actually go around the back and you come out over there. So quite a long track. And then it comes over the top here. See the poking its head out there and then loops back around. I'll try and get the details of how long this track actually is, but I can tell you I've been to Barber Gully quite a few times and this track is already far, far better. So super, super keen, eh? It's gonna be awesome. I reckon you've added about 20 kilowatts there, I reckon. For sure, especially the tow hawk. I mean, that's getting it for sure. Have a look at that. Race car. So this is the beast we'll be going in today. It is a 2011 model GT, making about 600-650 horsepower at the wheels. Sounds sweet. That's the man himself, Brooke, there, who has kindly offered up his ride for me to drive today as well. So let's get out there for a siding lap. Just heading out onto the siding laps. As I said before, we're doing the long track today. Do you know how long it is, Brooke? Uh, no, I don't. All right, fun little section. Tell you what, you're gonna have to watch this uh, spacing with the old stones. Yeah. Very, very cool. Oh, yeah. Nice and tight. 
technical track, eh? Very. Yeah, lots of clipping corners, mate. Definitely. Outside line. Coming to the middle and it really and tight chicane. second siding lap and then it will be on to the first session now you do a warm-up lap you do three hot laps and then one cool down lap and they're saying we could do about seven sessions but I don't think we're going to do that many in this car oh Brooke going at it he's a bit of a hoon huh? <laughs> I'm just keeping up with the siding car yeah no that's what it was yeah, yeah. no it's gonna be absolutely killer weather is amazing it's nice and cool it's still 11 degrees so nice and cool Sun's out. Uh, yeah, can we kill it? There's the boys lined up over there, ready to go out for the first session. They do a bit of spacing in between each car. Brooke. Oh, that sounds good. How was it, mate? Yeah, good. Yeah? Yeah. Managed to get past the Excel, mate. You got the big player out of the way. <laughs> nah, sounded good out there, man. Hey? Sounded good out there. Yeah, yeah. Really good. Fucking no traction, but... Here he is. The brakes are smoking so bad. <laughs> yeah, man. These are toasting. Holy. Here he is. Looking chuffed. He did an extra cool down lap, which is a better idea. Yeah, you take this baby. Random. I mean. I bet he's got a massive smile on his face. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's alright, just take it, mate.
Alrighty, I just got back from my five laps. Um, mate, it was far more fun than I ever realized it was gonna be. I knew it was gonna be good, but it's absolutely killer. If you're into cars and you haven't taken it to the track at some point, you really need to because it is absolutely a ball of fun. And that thing is an absolute weapon. I know for a fact it's slightly faster than my car. On the track, you can't really use all of it and it could definitely do with better brakes, even though it does have the Brembos on it at the moment, uh, the four piston front and the PBR rears. But uh, yeah, so, so much fun. Yeah, an absolute blast. These tires have definitely copped it a bit. As you can see, they've uh, been working. And those wheels were shiny this morning. But uh, yeah, awesome fun. Highly recommend, as I said. And this thing is a beast. Massive props to Brooke on this one. And I cannot thank you for, thank him enough for letting me drive it today. It was a massive experience and I actually cannot wait to bring my car here. So we're looking at doing events in the future. So I'll definitely be bringing mine once it's ready and it's got the new turbo and everything on and hopefully see how it goes against this thing once it's all done. Old Tirana. I doubt it's a genuine XU1, but it doesn't really matter. It is quick on the track. Pretty clean too. This was the car that was guiding us on our siding laps. So obviously well acquainted with the track and you can tell that when he goes around. Very cool. I was talking to the owner of this before I went out on my session. Uh, he's only just had it back together for a week after doing a restoration on it. He's telling me it weighs 540 kilos wet. Not with him in it. But uh, yeah, definitely fangs. And the center of gravity, as you can tell, is insane. Try and find out what it is. Janetta. That's it. Apparently about 500 made, uh, UK built car back in the 60s. It is fully restored it, done an absolutely killer job on this one. And uh, definitely a fun little car. The whole body is fiberglass as well. Sweet, and really different. Also thought I'd mention too, this day for us cost about $150. And we're getting about seven odd sessions. We're not doing that many because they're purely street cars and they're just not going to last that well for that many sessions. Um, you can get a one day license, which we did, uh, which you can do once every 12 months, or you can actually sign up for your CAMS license to come as many times as you want. But yeah, really easy. Uh, the track staff are really, really friendly. And what is this? I, I don't know what to say about this, to be honest. So I've got a B-Series Falcon front on it. Definitely different. Some <laughs> trailer back. Nice, she's a custom one. This Mustang, I've been watching it go around, it is definitely quick, like genuinely quick around this track. It's got apparently just about all of the Tickford upgrades making 400 kilowatts apparently. I'm not sure if that was at the engine or at the wheels, uh, but it's definitely quick. Brakes definitely doing their job. And it sounds killer, like it really revs. Props to the owner on this one. This one's clean as really nice.